Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Both defenses will have to be on the watch for a pair of tight ends looking to find seams in the secondary. It's Graham Seahawks going up against Bennett's Bears. What a surprise. There's rain in Seattle as we're off to Century Lake Field to link up with our broadcast team of Jim Nance and Phil Sims. Bears, Seahawks, it's pouring here as we're getting ready for today's matchup. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims, and it's a nasty day out there. And, Phil, how will that factor into this game? You know, Jim, I think one area of the game we got to look at here today is the kicker's field goal kicking. Maybe not just kick to try to get those three points because the weather could be a factor. So play calling on third down, knowing that maybe you'll go for it on fourth down, that will change some of those play calls. Coach has got to be ready for those situations. Steven Hauschka ready to kick it away to start today's game. The Bears are back deep, waiting to return the kick. Catches down the field, they're fast, they can do it all. And everybody is looking for that all in one. A guy that can block at the line of scrimmage, who can catch the football well, and has the speed to make it happen once he catches it. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. will take the penalty coming to the line at the 45 first down at the 45 going for the deep ball but it falls incomplete not a good job by the defense that time. They let the wide receiver get behind them, but the quarterback a little off target, and they missed the big play. Ohio, 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 Ohio. The Seahawks will take the snap from the 45. And it's batted down. When your situation, be careful and get off the field. The Bears' defense now is going to go nickel. The Seahawks will take the snap from the 45. Stands in the pocket. Graham's got it on a pass that had some heat. You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open, but no, he, he takes the safe route, throws it short, defense makes the tackle, and here we are staring at a fourth down. The Seahawks snap it up at the 26. Scanning the field. Has his man. Good 
The Bears defense not able to make the stop there, and they'll have to stay on the field a little bit longer. Well, sometimes when it's fourth and short, the toughest man wins, and that time the defense was not the toughest unit. Let's round, let's round, let's round. First down at the 18. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Miller is one of those guys, if he drops a pass or makes a mistake on the field, he doesn't make excuses. He knows, no matter what the circumstances are, if you get your hands on the football as a receiver in the NFL, everybody expects you to make the catch. Touchdown, Seattle. Miller's caught his first touchdown of the season. Still... The Seahawks now ready to take over again on offense. They were successful on their previous drive, getting the ball all the way to the end zone. I'm sure they're looking for more of the same right now. Oh, absolutely. That's that's what you always want. You want to find your way to the end zone. And so many people contributed on that last drive, and you've got to give the coaches a lot of credit for putting the players in an excellent position. There is nothing like having a great tight end in your offense now. There's so many things you can do with them. Remember, they're in the middle of the field. They can go down the middle. They can go outside. They can go short. They can go across. They can go out. Tough to cover the tight ends in this league now. The defender able to knock it away. So many times when you drop the football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. Second and ten. Got hit on release. Well, when you get in a situation like this, Jim, and you get third and long, I'll tell you what catches a defense by surprise. Run a double move on the outside against the defensive back because everybody in the stands and the defensive players all think you're going to throw it short. Third and ten. Surveys. And incomplete as Baldwin can't hold on. Got to give the defense a lot of a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. The Seahawks need to get to the 43 to pick up a first. Scans the field. The Seahawks now moves the chains. That's his first reception today. The Seahawks roll the dice and pick up the first on fourth down. Yeah, I like that analogy. Roll the dice. Sometimes you got to take a chance and hope it comes up seven. Well, I don't know about the seven, but they pick up the first down. Down the field. Second down coming up. So many players down the NFL that are good. How about this tight end? He has got so much talent. That time he hauls in the pass and just makes it look so easy. Now first and ten. And, but the hit knocks the ball out. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football and ball is loose. Second. Miller. first quarter and they're stretching their lead out it looks like they have it in their minds to put this game away early well that's what they're trying to do isn't it they just want to get it over with early just put all doubt we just remove all doubt the seahawks come out for the next possession having reached the end zone on each of their two previous drives. Yeah, it's been good stuff to watch, no doubt. You know, the offensive side, the offensive coordinator is right in tune with the quarterback to call exactly the plays that we need, need to be called because of the situations and the quarterback has been hot throwing the football. The Seahawks 
Seahawks cap off the first with a big play and now we'll try to capitalize here at the start of the second quarter. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. No one was open. Penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. At the 31, here we go. Ohio, 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 Ohio. The Seahawks snap it at the 31. Graham's going to pull in the bullet pass. Big and open. That's what this tight end's been today, Phil. Yeah, we see it more and more. Tight ends getting the football from their quarterbacks. Why? Because they're going against linebackers. They're faster and usually bigger than the linebackers. That's matchups you love on the field. Man intercepted! You got... The Seahawks were moving the football the last time they had it, only to give the football away on the pick. Let's see how they do it this time. Yeah, you know, that's a tough situation for the offense. You get a little confidence and you're moving the football, but then the turnover just changes everything. So you got to find And he's forced to the ground. This might not be nice to say, but every once in a while it's kind of fun to watch the quarterback get sacked like that. Good job by the defensive end. The Seahawks take it from the 38. He'll throw it over the middle. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. That's reception number two for him. And, Phil, you look at this offense right now. They've got a quarterback who's moving the football through the air, and that's a big reason why they're leading this game. That's right. That's why they're leading the game. Boy, I'd hate to be a defensive back out there today. The wide receivers are good. The quarterback is hot. They've got awesome rhythm, and that's why they're playing so well. The Seahawks know to win in the NFL, you got to pick up third downs. It doesn't matter how you do it. Third short, they go with the pass. Not executed very well. Now it's fourth down. Let's run! The quarterback, he's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. The Seahawks turned the ball over on downs. Outside. The Seahawks will try to hold on to the football. This has been one big turnover after another, Phil. Just what the coaches talked about in our meetings with him this week about ball security. It's not happening here. Well, it tells you the uh, players did not listen to the coaches, that's for sure, because ball security is not what we're seeing out there. I know this. Next week in practice, there's going to be a lot of drills about hanging on to the football. The Seahawks want to get their tight end involved early, and they have. Graham's been a big target. And he's making some big plays. Oh, he is making some big plays. And any time when you have a tight end good, and we'll just remember this, he is the closest receiver to the quarterback. So his chances of catching the football, they go up, and he's taking advantage of it. The Seahawks coaching staff has done a good job of mixing things up today on first down. The pass catches the defense off guard. They pick up solid yards. Now it's second and short. Second and short. Rams there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. As I look at all these great tight ends in the NFL now, it makes me think of the NBA. These are power forwards who said to heck with that. They want to be pass catchers, and they're good at it. First and ten. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Lynch is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Second and nine. Hand off made. Halftime, two minutes away.
away. We're back, and we're coming out of the two-minute warning in the first half. First and goal from the one. Takes another handoff. Touchdown, Seattle. Lynch's fifth rushing touchdown of the season. Oh, you just love it as a quarterback. You get down in there, and it's first and goal, and you score. Now you don't have to sweat the fact that, man, what are we going to do if it gets the third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run. Nice touchdown. The Seahawks offense preparing to get this drive underway. Their last possession ended in a touchdown. Phil, let's see if they can do it again. Very well done. Love what I saw out there on the offense the last time. They mixed it up and they showed a lot of confidence. You can see this intercepted. Coleman's in on the tackle. They need. The Seahawks are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense can get that back. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coaches took him to the sideline and just gave him heck. That's for sure. That's a good way of seeing it. So motivation, can't make those kind of mistakes. You've got to go out there and be much better. Nice job that time by the runner. Gets out of bounds after the play. You got under two minutes and... You need to stop the clock, so he gets it done. First and ten. Looking at every option. Still on his feet. The Seahawks get a first down. That's reception number four for him. The Seahawks signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. Seahawks will take the snap from the 45. And they're all over him for the sack. The Seahawks elect to take a timeout here before the second down snap. They're changing things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. Takes the hit. Throws. You got to be smart on the defensive side now here, third and long. Be a little careful, maybe give up a short pass or a short run, and if they throw it short, make sure you come up and make the tackle. It's third down coming up. Ready for intermission. First, one more play. Out of the shotgun formation. The ball is charged loose. A good first half of action here, here at Century. The Seahawks come out to open up the second half, and they were hitting on all cylinders in the first half, Phil. Yeah, be smart here in the second half, Jim. When you start out, just find out what the defense is thinking, and once you get a, a feeling about what they're going to do, then you start taking some chances. Graham's got it. First down. And as we get a better look at the numbers, here's a tight end who has done his best to make a huge impact the last couple of weeks, Phil. Yeah, he's always determined in the gym. You watch him play, he plays so hard. And when you do these type of things, the football just finds its way towards you. First down at the 36. Graham's got it on a pass that had some heat. And seeing these stats is really just another big day for this quarterback, Phil. Well, they say it's a quarterback-driven league, and it is, Jim. Everything is uh, there to help the quarterback play well. And all I can say about this guy, he's driving well today. First down and 10. The defense gets a sack. Well, if I was that quarterback, I'd be bad after getting sacked like that by the defensive end. Your offensive tackle's just got to do a better job.
the Seahawks have done a whale of a job taking their halftime lead and adding a whole lot more to it here in the third quarter. Yeah, they're just doing everything we saw them do in the first half. Just dominating the pace of play and just being more physical than the defense. Two hands on the football and has the catch. Holding offense. The defense accepts the penalty. The first time. A long field ahead of them at the 10. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. And it's spotted away. tight ends in the NFL. They are going to find ways to get you to football. They're going to get him here for a sack. It is truly a bonus when you can take your outside linebacker and let him rush the quarterback and he can get a sack. Nice job that time by the outside linebacker. And now they'll try over again on second down. Take a look at the numbers, and you can see the difference here, by and large, has come down to the passing attack. It has. They, I think the coaches realized early the quarterback was hot, so what did they do? They kept giving him it down the field. Lynch is never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Second down and seven. It's the old counter play. Can't find space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. The Bears' defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop a runner and make him lose yards, that's some good stuff. The Bears sat at the line. Dime package. Third and eight. And he's thrown to the ground. Welcome back. Fourth quarter about to start. 52-yard field goal attempt coming up. The kick is it's through there. The kick is good. They add another three here. on the field with their offense now. They've scored on each of their last two drives and have to be feeling pretty confident right now at the start of this one. Yeah, it is amazing what the mind can do sometimes on the football field. You go out there and you score and you just you feel like nothing can stop you. So it would not be surprised to see him to go out there and have success again. With that pass and catch, we see a receiver approaching history. He's been absolutely incredible today. Jimmy has been incredible. Just what he has done once he's caught the football, making big runs, making spectacular catches. And now the way offenses are designed in the NFL, that 50 yards, they can figure out ways to get him that football to give him a chance to break the record. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. The Seahawks will take the snap from the 45. Looking long. Snatches it with one hand. Looking at the stats, this seems like the case of an adjustment being made from one week to the next, as this wide receiver has been heavily involved in the passing attack, Phil. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. It's been a great adjustment by the offense. They have new ways to get him open, and he is getting open and taking advantage of it. Now he's going to change the play. 
Look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. First and goal to go from the two. The Seahawks makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Provided them with all the cushion they need to close this one out, Phil. The Seahawks offense coming back onto the field after a touchdown drive the last time they had it, and they certainly attacked that secondary and got there via the pass. Well, Jim, let me ask you this. How would you like to be the defensive coordinator right now? Because you're over there, you don't know what's going to happen. No matter what you call, you feel like, hey, the quarterback's hot. He's probably going to beat what we're trying to do. Holding offense. The defense will take the penalty. The first down. First down at the 40. And they get the sack. Well, it's all about timing. I got to tell you something. The safety did a wonderful job timing the snap count that time. Caught everybody off guard, and he gets the sack on the QB. The Seahawks take it from the 33. Going for the home run. One-handed. Makes the grab. Coming to the line at the 35. And now we reach the two-minute warning. We're back. Only two minutes remain in this one. The Bears with a nickel look here on defense. Now first and ten. Rams there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. This tight end's very talented. He's a good run blocker and also a good receiver. Makes a nice catch on that throw. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. And it's knocked down. Gets tight down here in the red zone. So if you're a defender, read the quarterback. If you make a quick break on the football, hey, you get position like this, you can knock it down. The Seahawks have picked it up here the last couple of weeks, coming off a dominating victory, and today it's been more of the same. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL you just get hot, and that's what they are right now. They are hot. When there's a chance to make a play, they get it done, and they make that play. Second and goal from the 10. Touchdown in the late stages. And again, another score on that drive, and we see a receiver closing in on the single game mark for touchdowns. It's just no record to say. It's unbelievable. The Seahawks offense takes the field and what is, in essence, an encore foul to the crowd here as they have been the dominant team all game long and time is running out. This is when I was at my best. When I, and he's taken down. A lot of big hits by this quarterback today. He's going to have to start getting rid of the football a little bit quicker. It's important he stays in the game for his football team. At the 34, 66 yards from pay dirt. Let's round, let's round. Oh, let's go. Let's round, let's round. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. On his way. Inside, and he's close to the touchdown. And again, with that touchdown on their latest drive, we have a quarterback zeroing in on the single game pass touchdown record. Wow, I like his chances of getting it, don't you? The way they are playing on the offensive side, the way they're calling plays, and the way the quarterback is just throwing the football pinpoint.
For Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.